Ahoy there cruisers and welcome to another episode of Cruise with Ben and David. Are you thinking about going on a Norwegian cruise line cruise? Well we put top 10 nine tips together for you. <laughs> <laughs> top 10 nine. <laughs> Ooh, we put together our top nine tips for a Norwegian cruise line cruise. Stay tuned. So number one is that they are such good value and these can be all-inclusive cruises. If you're here in Europe, you can do the premium all-inclusive deal, which includes, includes your drinks, your gratuities, which are the tips. It also includes a little bit of Wi-Fi, sometimes some onboard credit. If you're in the States or some other places, you've got the feel free. So you can usually pick up to two or three things like free drinks, uh, gratuities, a dining package, Wi-Fi, onboard credit. We really think that Norwegian offers fantastic value for money. It's so nice, isn't it? You can just relax, let go, not have to worry <sighs> about the bill Shut at up. the end of the cruise. And you can literally enjoy yourself, drink yourself around yeah, the world. drink yourself into a short grave. That's, <laughs> not, very, That's not a very good tip. Coffee. Sorry guys, That's not a very good tip, isn't it? So, number two is that Norwegian is all about freestyle cruising. Now, what is freestyle cruising? This means oh. that there's no stuffiness, there's no set dining times, there's no dress code. It means you can do what you want, when you want, and exactly. it means you can just relax and enjoy yourself. Absolutely, this is so important to us. We love the new non-traditional style of cruising. It means we can eat exactly when we want to. We don't have to stick to these awful dining times where you've got to be at a meal all the time. We can just do whatever we want when we want to. When we're in port, we can do what we want. When we're on board, we can do all the entertainment or the quizzes or the shows mm -hmm. at the times that we want to do them. And this is really important to us, isn't it? Yeah, this is what brings Norwegian much closer to a land-based resort Absolutely. than we would say a traditional cruise line. So if you're imagining set dining times and Titanic feels and you know old style cruising that is not what it's all check. about check <laughs> why can't you get we onto to the bloody stop, board guys at the end? with the titanic comparison but guys seriously why didn't jack get onto the board with rose at the end there was so much room on that it was like a bloody front door wasn't it yeah so what we love is that it's just so laid back and relaxed and you can just do whatever you want when you want to do it yeah that's these, amazing these are just floating resorts at sea going to a restaurant you know, you just turn up when you want. If there's a queue, you just wait, you get a pager, just like you would a restaurant on land. The same with the shows, you make a booking like you would a, rest, uh, a show, a theatre on land as well. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Number three is on the food subject. You will know us, that is one of our favourite subjects. Mm -hmm. Well, there you can are tell. <laughs> so many food options and restaurant options on a Norwegian ship, up to 15 on some of their ships. You can get Mexican, Brazilian, Italian, French, barbecue, seafood, steak, oh my god, the list is endless. There are so many different options. You've obviously got your free options, so you've got an amazing buffet, and you've got the usually two or three main dining rooms as well. Then you've got the specialty dining restaurants. These do cost a little bit of extra mm -hmm. money, but in our in our experience, are really worth to pick one or two just to do on your cruise because it makes the food is just so fantastic. Yeah, and if you like us, and you do like to experience all the specialty dining restaurants, why not get a dining package? You can book these before exactly. you go on your cruise and you get some great value. The more days, I'm sorry, the more meals that you book, the more value and the more money that you save. Book them before you even get onto the cruise with either your travel agent or on the cruise planner, which you can find online on the Norwegian cruise site. Seriously, it saves you so much money. You can get three meals and get a good 25 to 50% off, can't you? It's really good. You can, it's a great way to experience all the fantastic dining options that Norwegian Cruise Line has to offer. And just like dining, there is so much entertainment available on board. There's no business like show business. There's no business. Talking about Broadway and West End, there are some amazing shows on board as well. You've got Kinky Boots, which is coming to the amazing Norwegian Encore. You have Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, Rock of Ages. There's so many million dollar quartet. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so many really awesome musicals found on Norwegian ships. And they're completely free as well. Yeah, and these are just like the West End or the Broadway productions as well. And on top of that, there's also all the other entertainment in the main theatre. So these are some of the original shows. 
and visiting um, artists yeah. or come on board and, and do some shows. And you'll find live music all around the ship in the different clubs and venues. There's a nightclub, uh, DJ parties, deck parties, white parties. There is so much to do aboard these ships. And it's not all about nightlife too. During the day, there's quizzes, there's game shows going on all around the ship. Plus, there's loads of fun for all the family in the kids' clubs and with all the kids' entertainment as well. Yeah, you've got ropes courses, water parks, pools, hot tubs, climbing walls, laser quest, even race tracks mm -hmm. on the Bliss and on the Encore and the Norwegian Joy as well. There is just so much to do. And if none of that takes your fancy, you can always just relax catch a tan or go for a swim or go for a nice spa treatment or something like that. Absolutely, there is really something for everybody of every age and that's what we really like about Norwegian Cruise Line. Number five is that they have an absolutely massive array of cruises all around the world. So no matter if you want to cruise in the Mid, Northern Europe, Asia, Australia, the US, Caribbean, Alaska, you will find tons of Norwegian cruises and that's another thing, there's so many different options and price points different lengths of cruises yes. and different types of ships as well. Yeah, we like that they actually have smaller ships as well, which offer you a completely different experience to some of the big mega ships with all the racetrack and everything on them. So whether you are looking for a more intimate cruise, a more quieter Absolutely. cruise, or you want something with all the bells and whistles, you'll be sure to find a ship that'll entertain you with Norwegian Cruise Line. So what isn't included in the price of your cruise? So first of all, gratuities are not included in the price of your cruise unless you have the premium all-inclusive package or you are sailing from Australia. Gratuities yeah. are charged at a per person, per day basis. We'll put a link in the description below with all the latest information. Yeah, and if you don't have a drinks package, obviously drinks are not included as well, and these can be really expensive. And make sure you remember that the auto gratuities are charged on top of that as well. So you'll buy a drink for say $11, but with the 18% or so gratuity charge, it'll be more like $13 per drink. And these can really add up as well. Yeah, but if you do, like I say, if you do have the drinks package, You've paid for that, so you don't have to worry about the gratuity on top yeah. of that. Things like the spa and the casino, obviously they have an extra charge. The gym is completely free, but any sort of um, classes like yoga or spinning will incur an extra charge. And as we said earlier, speciality dining is also an extra charge. This can vary. It can be from $5 to $100, depending on the restaurant that you're going to. But as we said earlier, don't forget to take a look at them dining packages because you can save a, quite a lot of money with them. Yeah, there, there is no onboard laundries on Norwegian cruise lines. Some cruise lines do have them. If you do want to do laundry on NCL, you will have to pay for the laundry service, which can also be very expensive. Obviously, things like photography mm -hmm. and Wi-Fi, they're not included either. If you want to, if you want to take advantage of the onboard photography, you can do that. We recommend you take on your own camera because you can save so much more money. And some of the onboard activities do incur a small charge. So things like the racetrack, the laser tag, and some of the dinner shows are also an extra cost. So number seven, talking about the drinks packages, should we have a look at what isn't included in the drinks package? Because you've got to remember, not absolutely everything will be included. Yeah, exactly. So things like speciality coffee are not included in the drinks package. So this is things like espressos and the Starbucks on board. Yeah, and if they've got something like speciality ice creams as well, these will not be included on board. That as well as um, fresh juices are never included as well, or bottled water. Our big tip is to take a refillable water bottle with you, as there is water fountains around the ship as well. Yeah, and any drinks over the value of $15 are not included either. But to be fair, this includes most things. I mean, you're not going to be getting mm -hmm. champagne and stuff on the drinks package, but most cocktails, spirits, beers and wines are all included. Yeah, we actually did struggle to find anything that really wasn't included. Yeah. We just always asked our server as well. If we weren't unsure, we just said, is this included? And they'd tell us yes or no, or even offer us an alternative. So number eight, we are fast approaching number nine, is that Norwegian Cruise Line is great for families, kids, grown-ups, adults, everybody. It is a great all-rounder cruise line. There are so many activities for kids. You've got the amazing kids clubs, which are split into different ages. They do sensory play, themed nights, video games, competitions, scavenger hunts. You name it, they do everything in the kids clubs and the kids are guaranteed to have a fantastic time. As well as the amazing water parks, you've got the kids area water park on most of the newer, bigger ships. Yeah, and there's also themed nights. There's the sports court as well. So all of the kids clubs are included in the price but if you do have small children, say six months to three years old, and you want to put them in the nursery or have a night off or a meal together, this does incur a small extra charge. But the normal free cuts clubs from ages four to 17, completely free. 
Also, the video arcade on board is great for the kids, but that is also an extra charge. Yeah, so make sure you put a cap on their spending on their cards because you don't want to get out of hand. And finally, number nine, this is what we get asked all the time. When is the best time to book a Norwegian cruise? Well, traditionally, this is between wave season. So between January and March of every year. This is when you find some of the biggest deals and the best discounted deals. And when it comes to booking your cruise, no matter the time of year, we always say look online and compare the cost of your cruise, compare different travel agencies and speak to your travel agency to see what offers and deals they can offer you. Absolutely. Travel agents may be able to offer deals that are not available online. So we make sure that we check all of the different prices. So we'll check what we're getting with the travel agency and what we're getting with online. And then we'll always go with the best deal. That works the best out for everybody, doesn't it? Also throughout the year, make sure you look out for deals on the Norwegian website where they have promotions like free at sea or buy one, get one half free or free drinks packages. It's really good. You can get some fantastic deals and don't worry about booking late either because Norwegian usually has some really good last minute deals as well. Also, as we mentioned earlier, it's all premium, all inclusive all the time if you're from Europe. But if you're not a big drinker and you literally just want to cruise, Norwegian also offer a cruise only fare, which means that you don't get any of the extra perks and you get end up with a guaranteed cabin. So this means that you can't choose the actual cabin that you want to sail in. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed our video guys about Norwegian Cruise Line. If you have any tips that we haven't covered, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget you can subscribe to this video right now by hitting the subscribe button below and you can hit the bell button to get a notification every single time we upload a brand new video. Yeah, make sure you do that right now. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.